In my last video, I did a comparison between two paid web-based talking avatars tools. DID vs. Agent. I gave a sneak peek at this talking avatars. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com and mentioned that I would drop a video on how to make them. This is that video. The tool is called Sad Talker and it's my personal favorite. I'll admit, DID does produce better results, but Sad Talker produces just as good results for absolutely free. And since I don't get paid to make these videos and I'm just starting out, I'll stick with the free versions. So let's install Sad Talker locally. All of the links will be in the description below. And if you feel the video is going to fast for you, feel free to pause or rewind if needed. Step 1. Download and install Python 3.10.6. To make things easier, just press Ctrl plus F and in the search box type 3.10.6. There we go. Now download the Windows installer, 64-bit. When you install it, be sure to check the option Add Python to Path. Step 2. Download and install Git. This process is as simple as downloading the 64-bit Git. Just install it as you would any other install file. Step 3. You'll need to install FFmpeg. To do this we will need another installer called Chocolatey, but don't worry it's super easy to install and makes life moving forward much easier when installing other packages like FFmpeg. Hey, real quick, it takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos, so please hit that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make content for you. 97% of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button for more AI-related content. Okay, back to the video. So go to the Chocolatey website and scroll down till you see. Now run the following command. Copy that command by pressing the paste button. Now in Windows, click on the search box in your taskbar. If you don't have the search box, simply right-click on a blank area of your taskbar and select search, then show search box. In the Windows search box type, PowerShell. Right-click on PowerShell and select run as administrator. Accept the user account control by clicking yes, then you'll have a blue command window. Remember how you copied the data from Chocolatey website, now all you have to do is right-click inside of PowerShell to paste the command. Hit enter and let it install. When it's done, test to make sure it's installed by typing Choco. It should look something like this. Perfect. Now let's install FFmpeg. Simply type Choco install FFmpeg hyphen full. Then hit enter and wait for it to install. When prompted hit A to accept all then it will finish the install. Once that's done, type clear to clear the window and type FFmpeg to double check that it is installed. Step 4. Open File Explorer and select the drive you want to install Sad Talker in. For me, I'll be installing it on my F drive. So I'll go into F drive and in the address bar, I'll type CMD press enter. Now type Git clone and paste this URL in. Hit enter and let it install. Perfect, we now have Sad Talker installed. But hold on, we are not quite done yet. We will have to install the checkpoints and other requirements. Step 5. Go into your Sad Talker folder. For me, it is an f colon backslash Sad Talker. Now create a folder in the root directory of your Sad Talker folder and name it Checkpoints. Great. Now, head over to the Sad Talker GitHub page and type Control plus F. In the search box, type in Download Trained Models. You will see this. Now, right click on the main Checkpoints link and open it in a new tab. Next, right-click on the GFP Gone Offline Patch link and open it in a new tab. Download those two zip files into your Checkpoints folder. Once they are downloaded, go into your Checkpoints folder and you'll see the two zip files. Begin by locating the file sadtalker.zip. Perform a right-click on it, then choose the Extract All option from the drop-down menu. Upon doing this, you'll notice an address path that reads this. Here, you are required to erase the last instance of Sad Talker from the path, leaving you with this. After adjusting the path, proceed by clicking Extract. The same process is to be repeated for the GFP Gone Zip file. After you select Extract All, you'll see the default address path. In this case, remove the initial mention of GFP Gone in the path. Once you've made this change, confirm by clicking on Extract. Double check the GFP Gone folder and you should see a folder called Waits. Now you can delete the two zip files. Step 6. Go into your Sad Talker folder and double click on webui.bat. Give it some time to install. Once it's done it should look like this. Now select the URL in the command prompt which should be 127.0.0.1 colon 7860. 
and copy the link by right clicking. Now, paste it into your web browser. If you want dark mode just like my screen, just add this line of code and paste it next to the URL like this. Now you're done. Now, all we need to do is create a talking photo. I already have my avatar and voice file so I'll use that. Click here to add your source image. Click here to add your audio. Click generate. Here are my results. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com Not bad, however, I prefer to use these settings. 512 Full Still mode GFP Gaunt Face Enhancer Click generate. Here are my results. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com Nice! Now, let's take a look at them side by side with the default setting and the settings we just went over to see the difference. Learn more about AI with AIcontroversy.com That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.